um, and it came out really nice. So it's a nice cruiser too. Let me show you the interior. Hey everyone, I'm driving in a 1978. It's a red and white um, automatic passenger bus. This one's a little bit different, uh, slightly, um, only because it has a middle seat, a uh, full middle seat, which uh, you can kind of see some of it right here, uh, the one I'm pointing to. So the back is a full bench, uh, sits three, and the middle also full bench sits three, except that one piece there that I was pointing at uh, folds forward, allowing the passengers in the back to go in. So this one will hold, uh, let's see, six, uh, eight people. So pretty cool. Most of them are like seven passenger buses. And uh, of course, they're also uh, manual transmission. This one's an automatic transmission. Found this one in uh, Las Vegas, actually. I remember seeing it for sale and I really liked it. Uh, quite expensive though, um, for what we would normally pay for an automatic bus, but you know, they're, they're getting harder to find. So sometimes you just, you know, gotta pay the price that people want because where else are you gonna find one? So I saw this one in Vegas. I uh, didn't think a whole lot about it other than I liked it and I didn't think that I would buy it. But a few months went by, maybe two months went by, and we had some business out in Las Vegas, so I thought, I'll go check it out. And it was actually like a mile or two miles from the hotel we were staying at. So it just kind of worked out. It wasn't far to go see it. Um, and when I saw it, I was like, whoa, this is a really great bus. Um, and we ended up buying it. And um, after a while, um, a buyer reached out that wanted two buses, uh, both of them to have this long middle seat. I believe they're doing uh, some type of uh, some type of business with the buses. I'm not really sure, but having the middle seat uh, as a full seat was one of the requirements. So maybe uh, moving passengers around is probably uh, part of their business plan. So we ended up uh, building two buses for them, this one here and a uh, pink one that I will share as well. You guys have, might have already seen it. And right now I just put a little bit of gas um, and I'm driving it around. I, I had at a mechanic. Um, it's funny, when I went to test drive it, everything was fine. Uh, when I got it here, I drove it maybe uh, a mile and it died out and it continued to die out. But luckily enough for me to uh, get back to our warehouse uh, where it sat until we finished up um, like body work and pain and the interior. Um, and once that was all done and I took it to a mechanic and he went through it all, um, did a ton of repairs. Of course, I mean, even though it was a running bus, it still ended up needing, you know, things. They're, they're old. So uh, we did uh, like things like the gas tank, fuel pump, uh, new battery, uh, tune up. Um, but it's really nice now, running really well. I'll walk around and show you. It's got a little bit of a lowered stance into it. It's got front um, front uh, drop spindles in the front and in the back is lowered a little bit as well. Um, so it, it has like a nice little cool lowered stance to it that I think looks really cool. And we put these in, these are like slider windows. We replaced the rubber seals um, and it came out really nice. So it's a nice cruiser too. Let me show you the interior. Interior is redone, um, the headliner, the back seats, the fold out back seat, um, the side panels. So overall, really clean bus, replaced window sills, new tires, uh, tune up, paint and body. Um, some of the outside trim, like the um, side view mirrors, the lenses, uh, the hubcaps, of course, make it nice and shiny. So really cool, clean bus, came out real nice. And uh, pretty soon, this will be on its way to um, uh, uh, Oregon. Oregon, yeah. So, uh, there we go. Um, stay tuned. I will uh, share this pink one next. 
This one and the red one are the ones that are going together. So I'll do a walk around with that one next. This one still needs the interior panels and a whole lot of here and there's uh, battery, stuff like that. But it's ready to go. If you guys are interested in a bus, uh, follow along. All I have are buses. That's what I do. It's what I love. And I can share more as we go along. Um, like this blue one here, green one there, that orange one. We've got a few more in here kind of waiting. So stay tuned.